Hi, welcome to the Informatica video channel. The Power Center Big Data Edition has many features and can do many things with Hadoop cluster and HDFS. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the feature where one can write or where one can create a mapping to source or read from a flat file residing on HDFS and another mapping to create or write to a target which is there on the HDFS. First and foremost, we're going to create a HDFS connection. Then we will create a mapping which would read from a relational source and write to HDFS. Then we will verify the Hadoop distribution we are using is the same as configured on the Integrate Integration Service. Then we will run the mapping that's created in the step two. Afterwards, we can create another mapping which reads from the HDFS and rise to your local file system. And finally, we will review the environment settings for the map or distribution where you need to set some other environment variables or requirements needs to be set. All right, let's get going uh, straight into the creating a HDFS connection. To create an HDFS connection, one can use the developer tool or the administrator or the Informatica administrator. So for today's demonstration purpose, we're going to use the Informatica developer. So let's go to the developer. Once you connect to the, the, the model repository service, go to Windows and Preferences, and then the connections under your the, the, the domain name, and then you have a file systems, then you have a Hadoop file system. Then you can just pick the one of the add a new connection, enter your names for the connection, and then go to the next where you provide a username and a name node URI where this stands for is this is the host name of your name node and then the port number you, you can enter them uh, based on your uh, Hadoop administrator provided you do that information right and then you can even use the test connection to see whether that is successfully adding or not so once you add your that the, add your HDFS connection, you're done creating the connection for that one. Then let's go to create a mapping for that one. To create a mapping, you would need uh, a couple of things before you could go, go ahead and create a mapping. For that one, let's create in the in here a project demo project under that, and then let's create a physical data object before you can even use anything that's called let's call it a flat file data object and then you can create some of the columns then once you have this flat file data object then you're going to associate the read and then write maps for the uh, physical data objects for the read and write uh, the maps you're going to provide go to the runtime and you provide here the source file name and the source directory that's where on the HDFS is and then you're going to provide the connection type which says none but you could pick it to Hadoop file system and then and what is the connection we use that one we just created the new connection for that purpose we can use that connection as a read map the same as for the write map as well so because we're going to use this one then the first mapping we're going to create it as a write uh, uh, the targets to HDFS Go back there provide the directory where this is going to be written on the hdfs and the file name as well as the connection type then you can put it's a hdf Hadoop file system type is the connection and then you pick the connection you have created right so there ends the physical data object being created with the hadoop file system as a read and then write uh, connection types so to save some time I already have one in my uh, existing folder here you could see I created a HDFS data object where I have created the read maps and the write maps where I provided the similar file names and then other uh, directory and the connection types once you have these two uh, one of the data object where the read and write maps are there we also need a source in this in our mapping we're going to use as a uh, we're going to use the source as a relational source 
So you can just add one of your relation source to your your project, and uh, there you go. You have your relational source as a uh, data object in in your in your project. Then we can just create a mapping. Go to the project and then create a new mapping. And this mapping, you're going to say you're going to read it from your relational source. Drag your source as a read. That is the relational source. I'm going to read it from. Then I'm going to write it to the Hadoop file system. So I'm going to drag my the Hadoop uh, uh, data file object. That's what data object that is created and associated with Hadoop connection. That's the one I'm going to pick and then select it as a write operation to that one. So once I have that, and then I just link these columns and then my mapping is ready. Right. Again, to save some time in my project folder, you have I have the mapping created similar to the reading from Oracle and writing to the Hadoop file system. You can see the runtime properties. It's writing to info user HDFS and then this is a that's a directory and then that's where the file is going to go. So before we run that mapping, we would like to see how our, our data integration service properties are set as per the uh, our uh, Hadoop distribution, what we are using it. So to do that, we go to the, the Informatica administrator, then we go pick the, our uh, data integration service we are using. Then we go to the processes tab under where if you scroll a little down, then you would see data integration service Hadoop distribution directory. That's where you would see the where the Hadoop distribution directory is there, the Hadoop libraries we are there that are the one you're going to use connect to the HDFS. So it will be on info home services shade Hadoop and then the distribution directory. That's what it is. Since in this case we are using a Cloudera, so we're going to use the Cloudera distribution directory under info home services shade Hadoop directory. Once that is set, then we can go back to our developer tool and then we can run our mapping. And then we can before we can run we just validate it make sure there are no errors and then we can run the mapping so when the mapping is successfully run we could see get the log and then see whether it has written the file or how how big the file is written or how in this test case i was using only small file so it could finish faster so we can also go back to your the the, the the directory where that file was creating you can just see this is just now it's created that file on the on the system on the hdfs that simple as writing to the uh, hdfs from informatica big data edition so now we have created the um, uh, mapping to write to the hdfs now let's look in the another mapping where you can read from HDFS and write to the local file system as well. In that case, you're just going to create a mapping uh, and then you're going to say, read it from HDFS. Get your uh, data object which is associated with the HDFS as a read object access and then you have the, that in your mapping canvas and then your target. So in this case, we need a, another physical data object in my project folder I didn't have, but however, you can just create a quickly a physical data object, which is a, another local flat file data object. And uh, there you go. And then you can use it as, since we are using it as a writer, just provide the Save it before you could get to see those parameters for them. Okay, go to the in input and then you see the runtime properties where it is going to write it to. You can just pick smash TMP. This is where it's going to write onto your local file system. I mean, where the data integration service is running. Save it and go back to our mapping. We can just now add this 
data object as a right target and then we can just create these links and then you save the mapping so to save some time in my the folder I have the mapping I created earlier which is reading from HDFS and writing to a local file system I even had a an expression transformation to just to demonstrate like when you are reading from the HDFS and then see how much data or how you are going to read it even in, in the midstream you could see that data coming through that means we are reading it from HDFS and then going through that and then you can validate the mapping and run the mapping so even you can see where the my data integration service was running I could see it's created the local flat file here just now the 1626 is just now it created that file there I guess the directory is not the, the local flat file directory is wrong here if you could see the I was creating under info home target files let's go back to the info home target files you could see the file is created it just now when we run the mapping okay. so that that simple as creating a a, a, a mapping through the big data edition how you can write into uh, read or write to the HDFS now let's look at the parameters that uh, are needed or the configuration that are needed to run uh, HDFS reading and writing to the Hadoop distribution of a mapper in case of mapper yeah, there are a few requirements need to be set an environment variables mapper home and LD library path before you start the node to the directory where the Hadoop libraries are there which is their Informatica home directory shared location which is there on the slides and you need to set up the CLDB details in the map or cluster dot connect configuration and then in case of HDFS connectivity you just need to provide map or FS colon slash slash you don't provide any name node or anything in case of map or distribution and if you need any other further information go to the communities they have how to how to uh, the documentation you have auto library documentation then you will get more information there and then we would love to hear from you any feedback on the the presentation or anything if you need any more you, you can use one of these two channels you have support videos at informatica.com and rhdps twitter.com slash info support thank you enjoy <laughs>